Hello everyone and welcome back to Dungeon Quest. Yes, it has been around a month since I really uploaded a video here on Dungeon Quest because today guys, we get to have the biggest sneak peek of all, which is the best sneak peek in the entire history of Dungeon Quest. We are going to be going over the brand new PvP that is going to be added very, very soon here to Dungeon Quest. We have keybinds, we have matches, we have a new class and a lot more to go over. So let's just jump straight into the video for today. You're probably wondering why we are starting off here in the main Dungeon Quest lobby. Well, I gotta show you guys exactly what has been happening. So yesterday at 5.35 p.m. for me, Vinny said on Discord at everyone, sometime tomorrow after the block sees, I will be opening a test environment to the public to try out a brand new feature I have been working on. The new feature is going to be PvP, because yes, we had a poll a while ago for wave defense, boss raids, and PvP, and this is the third installment, so we are finally getting PvP. So once he posts the link tomorrow, it will only keep in place for around one to two hours before he shuts down the game. It is not finished yet, but I wanted to get some feedback about base gameplay feels. And there is no progression or reward system yet because he wants to make sure he nails the core mechanics first as well. And also, this doesn't mean I have been working on a new dungeon content for the game. I have some other events which will be releasing soon as well. So we're not just getting PvP, we will be getting a new dungeon soon as well as events. I don't know exactly know what events are actually going to be happening, but it looks like we may get an event like the Snowflake event again, possibly for Easter, possibly. I don't know, maybe collecting Easter eggs. Not entirely sure what is happening with that, but first of all, congratulations to VCathy's Games slash Vinny on getting the Builderman Award winner of excellence in the brand new Biloxies this year. Congratulations, Vinny. I'm so proud to be working for you and your team. You guys have grown so much over the past year. So before I do anything, let's just quickly jump into the PvP stuff for today. So at 6.59 a.m. for me, yes, I was asleep for this, but um. We're just gonna do this, sir. To add everyone, okay, everyone, the PvP test is now open and will only be shutting down in two hours. He's looking for feedback on the core mechanics and how this plays out and have fun. And it was not for mobile or Xbox players yet as it was still being developed, but Vinny was kind enough to give me and a few staff members and my friends access to the testing server once I did wake up because he knew that I had been extremely sick recently and I've hardly been able to get out of bed and do things so he up opened it up for us in the morning when I got up so today we have a few screenshots to go over before we jump into the actual gameplay because I think these screenshots are gonna help us a lot like trust me Trust me, they, <laughs> the, you're going to need these screenshots. We're going to go over all of the things that we are going to need. So first, we'll go over the brand new classes that you can see in the game, which is going to be the warrior class, the mage class, the archer class, and the priest class. So warrior gives you three abilities as well as a dash ability, which is the light ability being the quick slash ability, the heavy ability being the cyclone, which is a speed boost ability. So it's like a speed spell, just like the normal tornado that we get currently. And we also have the utility ability, which is concussive blast, which slows people down as well as the dash. For mage, we have the light ability being the fireball spell. We have the heavy ability being the magma bomb and the utility ability being the flash freeze, which is a stun spell as well, as well as, you know, the dash one. But we have two new classes here that say are coming very, very soon. So we have an archer class. This was actually hinted at us a while ago. Um, it has a light ability of quick shot and obviously some work in progress for the other three as well. well technically too since we know there's going to be a dash for both of them as well as a priest which will be the healer class being a working process progress for them all except for the dash because we all know that the dash is going to be and obviously it's going to be healing spells don't exactly know how they're going to work yet but they are the first things that we are going to have as a sneak peek so we do have two different game modes in this we have the team deathmatch version which you are put onto two different teams either purple or yellow or green and red it just changes every single time as they are random and you are put in a team with a few people and you can only join a certain team if there's a certain amount of players on each team so it's not going to be 5v1 trust me that's just not how this is currently working i will say this is the better version of the game at this point in time but we also have the second one being the free for all match and obviously we had Vinny, Declan, Joey, Pixel, myself, Aiden, Bill, Reggie and Demonic. Everyone was coming in and helping us with this. So you have everyone on their own separate team and you can see some of the colors. You'll see oranges, pinks, reds, yellows, blues, dark blues, purples. Maybe like look at them closely because they're kind of the Excalibur colors as well which is really really cool. But 
you guys are probably not interested in those those are just the two game modes that you will see in today's video as well as we're going to go over the keybinds really really quickly so we have the light being well the light ability being the letter q the heavy one being letter e the utility being r movement for the dash is c and obviously you can check the leaderboard with your tab obviously as i said this is not for mobile or for xbox yet so this is just a work in progress and we have a beautiful map which you will see currently in the video so let's jump into the actual gameplay right now so we're gonna start here and we're actually gonna go over two different classes we're gonna do the mage and the warrior class and as i said this is just me and my friends testing do not worry too much about it this was after the public test had closed this is nothing leaked this is everything that was currently in it so i couldn't join purple team until the yellow team had two members on it so I currently have my team here, I have Vinny on my team, and I decided that I would start off as trying to be a mage. So, I like this spell. So, obviously you have the fireball spell, which is your Q. E, you have your, like, normal, like, I don't, I can't remember what it's called. Like, the volcano blast, we'll just call it that. And then we have the stun spell being our R, which if you are in that circle during that time, it will freeze you into a bowl. And trust me, if you have a million and one mages fighting in this, it goes absolutely chaotic. Obviously, rounds go for around four and a half minutes, more like five minutes, but once everyone loads in and gets sorted with the game, it's around four minutes thirty. It's okay. But I was really, really surprised in this game mode. It was actually very, very balanced. Obviously, uh, you do have an advantage as a warrior with your speed spell because that can catch up to you very quickly as you can see Declan and Pixel will attack me with that same spell every single time but it's I don't know it needs some working it's shift lock is obviously a you can use shift lock you don't have to use it but I will say there are like spells directed to where your mouse is so I just personally like shift lock I know it's probably not the best for this type of game but I love shift lock in like every game now I cannot even play a normal game without having shift lock that just shows exactly how much Dungeon Quest has changed my overall game style but to freeze them obviously with the ability you can just sit there and hammer on them because you've got two spells and this is just the work in progress I'm not sure if this map is going to be an official map if this is going to be a test map as well this could just be for the testing phases by now we could completely change and you will see that dash ability works in every direction that you're going so if you're pushing uh, W you'll go forward if you're pushing S you'll go backwards if you're pushing A or D you'll go either left or right and I will say the spawning on this game is currently a bit weird you will spawn randomly around the map you don't have desiccated designated designated spawning areas but I honestly really enjoy this map obviously there's those log walls will get me every single time like because of the shift lock difference and how it's not like where your character is and it's a bit further up it's a bit hard to do things and aim for spells and stuff but it's okay I got used to it after a little bit I think we had to like an hour's worth of footage for this but as I said I have a ton of videos coming out for pvp alone because we did spend as I said an hour in this game testing out all the features doing it as all mages or warriors we even are going to be going over the theories for what the brand new archer class is going to be and obviously how they are going to do the workarounds with that do you guys think this game is currently balanced from what you guys can see? Do you guys wish that there will be more classes? Would you guys like to see cosmetics in this? Would you guys like to see new things added in? So one thing that I actually did say to Vinny is with the opportunity of a PvP, it does give him another like opportunity at doing a different type of cosmetic, which would be death particles. So for example, when you die, you explode into confetti or have berries pop out of the ground. I don't know, but something like that I think would be really cool as possibly even a case system. So it gives you a chance to spin crates with a different type of currency that you can earn through pvp something that i would like to touch up more on in the future and don't worry i die a lot <laughs> This is testing. I literally had not played this game prior to today, so me actually killing anyone in this is really <laughs> is a surprise. But as I said, you got some manners, you got some trees, you got the logs, you've got the brand new lighting in this map as well, which I really enjoy, as well as you've got like a cave where you can go through and take advantage when people go AFK. Never take a moment when they're not AFK. You've got to get them. But as you can see, that tornado is so annoying if you are a mage because you cannot get away with it. It's because it speeds you up and then you can dash while you're using your tornado as well. But if you are lucky enough as a mage to freeze them, uh, it will be a godsend. Trust me. Just trust me on that one. 
As I said, this is only the first public test for this, which is absolutely crazy. We've never gotten a first public test before. Like, we've already, like, had leaks and stuff for possibilities of new dungeons, but we've never had a feature, like, be able to be tested by us. Obviously, staff have tested things in the past. Like, for example, when Samurai came out, we tested out the map and the borders and everything prior to the map releasing. And then we actually got some a few sneak peeks on a few things on other maps as well. So... You, you can just understand where I'm going and I, I don't know, I'm, I feel like I will play PvP a lot more than I think I will, so that was the team death match and obviously we had Vinny, Pixel, myself, but now we're gonna try Warrior. I think it's only fair that we give each one a shot. Vinny thinks that Mage is overpowered, whereas we think it's Warrior that is. I don't know. What do you guys think? Obviously, uh... It is harder to get used to warrior spells when I haven't been used to it before. I will say that. But this tornado, oh my goodness. It's such a... The Q. Let me go over these spells first. Q is annoying. I wish that Q either went out a bit further or something. I don't know. It's just missing something personally in the spell for me to use. From what you guys have seen, like obviously the ones in the game, like in the actual dungeons, go a lot further. But this is more of a close up spell, whereas the mages get it as a long distance spell, but then the mages also get a stunning spell. So it's, it's kind of balanced out because E is your tornado and then R is your um, concuss blast. So when you use R, it will slow the player down. Very, very helpful if you were trying to murder someone. So that's kind of like their stun spell, but it's at a range and it does damage. So it's very... I don't even know how to, like, say it. People in the comments will be like, here, this is the word you're looking for, but... It's not overpowered. It's just very hard. It's like, it's not balanced, but it's balanced. It's in the middle, and it's a little big... I, I don't know. So, you start off with 1,200 health. You do not and will not receive any of your gear from the dungeons. This is a complete separate thing. So it's kind of like kit PvP uh, rather than PvP with your own items. Obviously there could be special modes added in in the future where you can do custom ones. I have suggested that to me to have 2v2s, 3v3s, 4v4s or custom. So for example, if a staff member wanted to host a custom game night they could have so it was like team 100 versus team 100 or you guys had ridiculous health or it was one person against 10 people or something like that i have suggested that to Vinny to add more variation and not just have the same thing because i know playing this after a while we did kind of get bored with it but we did want to continue testing to find any of the bugs so we were lucky enough to spend the time like doing it because I didn't know how long we were going to get to test. I thought it may have only been one or two rounds, but I took the hour that we got because it's very rare for me to miss something. And for me to miss something as big as this update killed me. I was, I woke up and I realized I'd missed all eight of my alarms. I was devastated, absolutely devastated with what had happened because all I wanted to do was be there for the update and obviously Vinny will target you. Do not ever play this game with Vinny and Joey and Brandon that they will target you. They will make sure that you are the first one to die. But it's okay. I got my revenge in a lot of these rounds and you will see them all in the future. But as I said, what do you guys think of PvP so far? Do you guys like the public test? Would you guys like to see them open it out more? What would you guys like to see added? What do you think can be taken out? What do you guys want to see in the Archer class, in the Priest class? What type of spells do you want to see as well? Because we have around 100 spells to choose from. I think there's about 98 spells in all of Dungeon Quest right now to choose from. Let me know what type of spells you guys want to see. What do you guys think needs to be fixed? And obviously there is a feedback channel. If you have feedback for this video or anything about this mode, put it down in the comments below because I will be reading all of them and passing them along to Vinny because he will surely appreciate them but yeah if you guys like today's video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel also hit the notification bell if you're notified every single time I post a video or start a stream because that's going to be happening very very soon um I am in the process of moving out right now so a lot of my things aren't here and then my computer is at my parents house and then I'm going to be moving it very very soon it just depends when it all happens but yeah I hope you guys have a lovely day or night wherever you guys may be in the world and I'll see you guys in the next video or stream because PvP is here guys bye